Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. It's time for another Leeds United update. I hope you're all doing well. Um, please subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, hit the notification bell, and, of course, like the video. Before we get in, little disclaimer, right? Little disclaimer. <laughs> I'm not professing to be ITK, nor am I entering into this, like, clickbait report. Every Trust me, Right? There is a lot of news out there <laughs> that if I wanted to, I could probably do a video every single hour, all right? <laughs> yeah. But I take the ones that I think are worth speaking about, okay? Naturally, the videos seem to annoy people. Um, Calvin Phillips was and is wanted by Villa. For some reason, people get annoyed by this. It's true. Rafinha will... Probably leave us in the summer, if not latest January. Probably will go to Barcelona. I'm only reporting what's out there. I've seen a number of reports about us after certain players that I'm like, yeah, nah, never, no point, right? But what I will say, if you don't like it, don't watch it, okay? Genuinely, if you do not like it, don't watch it. You don't have to, okay? Let me just put that out there. All right, <laughs> because you you know enjoy your day, man. Have peace. You know what I mean. You don't need to be getting angry at me. Just don't watch it. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into the video. So Leeds United are apparently willing to listen to offers for centre-back German international Robin Koch. As we know, transfer window or transfer speculation well underway. As I've just said, done a video on Calvin, done a video on Rafinha, and now it's been reported that Leeds United and outgoing are reportedly ready to listen to offers for Robin Koch in the summer. Um, it's mad because as I was just saying to you about how like I see certain links to certain players and I don't choose to do a video, there was one about a centre-back can't even remember the guy's name. I was like, we're not after a centre-back. We don't need a centre-back. That's not even worth reporting on. Or can I call it reporting? That's not even worth speaking on. Um, but then this has come out. Listen, I still don't believe we'll be after a centre-back. Um, because apparently what the article's saying is that Leeds United are planning an overhaul in the defence. Um, I wouldn't say that's needed or Leeds United would want to do that. I don't see new additions coming in unless they're for the under-23s. For me, centre-back's stacked. Centre back stacked even with an exit of Robin Cock. Because now Leeds United have Liam Cooper, your captain, Diego Lorente, you've got Pascal Strauch, you've got Leo Hielda, and you've got Charlie Creswell. There's five great centre backs. So I can understand why Robin Cock, who apparently hasn't enjoyed it, and I can understand that as well, because it had not really worked out for him, has it? Robin Cox come over from Germany. We were all hyped up, obviously, after losing out on Ben White. But look, we had trust in, in the methods that we used to gain Ben White, and therefore we had trust that Robin Cox would come in. He was a German international. He can play multiple positions. He'd be suited to the Bielsa system. Brought him in from Freiburg, been tracking him for 18 months, etc., etc., etc. Brought him at a cut-down price of £30 million. But it just hasn't really worked. I think he's played 30 times in all competitions, um, a number at centre-back, a number in DM when Calvin's not been there. But he's not really find, found like a, a, a main stay in the side, has he? You know, it's been quite a struggle for him. Um, I know before he was injured, he did start 11 consecutive matches, but then he got the knee injury, kept him out till March 2021. Um, but since then, he hasn't really got going. Um, he had that pubis problem, a pelvic problem. Um, obviously, the Man United game where we where we get battered and his jobs to track Bruno Fernandes. I, do you know, off the top of my head, and I may be doing him a disservice, but I can't remember like where Cox had a standout, unbelievable game. Do you know what I mean? Whereas I can think about Pascal. I can think where Lorente has done really well. Although, look, if it were up to me, and I, I, I can only give you my opinion, that's what you come for. I prefer Cox to Lorente. Just because I'm sorely fall, falling out of love with Lorente. But as someone mentioned in the comments, you know, he's a ball playing defender. And when he's playing well, he, he can pass out from the back. Yeah. Sometimes he looks calamitous, but he is good with his feet at times. At times. 
Um, but yeah, it seems a bit of an interesting one. Apparently, Leeds United say they'll be ready to do business at around 11 million, which means we'd we'd lose 2 million. I think we brought him in from Freiburg for 13 million. And yeah, the article says we're doing this in order to raise funds for another centre-back. As I've mentioned, I don't see that being the case. I don't think Leeds United need to dip into the market for a centre-back. However, if you are looking to sell in order to buy if you were to look through the squad in terms of value, who can bring you value? There's quite a lot on the decline in terms of value. If I think to some of the old statesmen, if I think to, you know, Rodrigo, etc., maybe they're on the decline in terms of value. Who's going to bring you, um, you know, a decent amount of money? Because he, if this report's believed to be true and Legion United are willing to, you know, listen to offers for 11 million, then we've lost out there, haven't we? You know what I mean? But it's still a it's still a big wedge of money. I can't think of many in the squad apart from the jewels in the crown that you don't want to sell. Um, but if Robin Cock was taken out of this side, ask yourself the question: Would he be missed? And I'm look, I'm not like hammering him um, because I I do think he can do a job, and I think he's 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 a good player. Um, but if these reports are believed to be true, then I could understand it. You know, I could understand it. I think he's on record as well. And, and Sky um, Sky Sports Bundesliga um, saying, basically, this is him verbatim. You know, he was asked about, you know, a potential return to Germany in the future. Obviously, he made 200 appearances over in Germany. And he said, look, I'm, I'm not really thinking about that at the moment, but I don't want to rule it out. And it is like, look, there's no smoke without fire. There might not be any truth to the rumour, but I just think it's a worthwhile talking point. And look, we've got a report. He's been asked just in March, just in March, uh, the 17th of March, you can see uh, the initial report where he was asked about a transfer away from Leeds. Then we hear in reports that Leeds United might be willing to listen to offers. And as I've just mentioned, he said, look, yeah, I, don't, I, I wouldn't rule it out. Um, I wouldn't rule it out. I'm not really thinking about it. Um, but I wouldn't rule it out. He's still in the German international side as well, obviously getting a call up in March, and he has just come back from injury. So obviously Hansi Flick is a massive fan of Robin Koch, probably due to his versatility within that squad. You know, he's not a mainstay in the German national side. He has eight caps, you know, to, to his name thus far. Um, but it's whether or not, you know, Robin looks at Leeds United and sees himself as a starter. Because if you would go on, rec you know, recent, games is Robin Cock in your starting eleven? Is he in Jesse Marsh's starting eleven? Um that that remains to be seen. Will he play in midfield? Will he play at centre back? I, I I'm just not sure. So there's a I guess for Robin Cock, does he move back to Germany and 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 you know get a get a start in berth and really ram home them them chances of going to the Qatar World Cup or does he stay at Leeds United on the bench and maybe risk it but also at the same time it it, it prevents any upheaval. And it, you know he's on record of saying that Hansi Flick was in touch when he was injured, um, to check how he was doing. So maybe, you know, him being on the bench or being out doesn't really impact his German national side. Um, we know that some national managers prefer to have their players. We see it with Southgate in England, you know, it's not always about performances, um, whether you agree with that rightly or wrongly. Um, but it is a real interesting thing to consider about Robin Cock. Look, Robin Cock still has over two years left on his current deal, but... You know, like according to the report, Leeds United are willing to listen to offers. Um, you know, just due to us being stacked in the centre back area. Um, the article saying we're after another again, just to reiterate, I don't buy that. I don't think we need that centre back. It's cool. Um, even if Robin Cock was to depart. Um, but you know, and even if you look at him in the Calvin role, that's gonna come even less. If Calvin stays fit, he's not playing, is he? You know, it's gonna be Calvin for sure, click or and another if we bring an addition in there in, in the summer. Um, so, yeah, game game stats might be difficult for him. But I, I want to know your thoughts in the comments. I'm going to pin comment. Do you think, you know, it, it's right for Robin to stay or go? How would you play it if you were in charge? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, as always, for watching. Um, and as I say, if you didn't like it, man, just don't watch it, all right? You're probably not watched to the end anyway, so it don't really matter. Um, but like the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in and hit the notification bell and listen. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll be back on Wednesday evening, midweek fix, me, Lewis, and of course, your boy JT. And we will be doing a watch along of the game uh, as well at the same time of Everton versus Burnley. So that should be a laugh. So make sure you join us for that. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. Leeds, leeds, leeds.